<laughs> Hello everyone. You are here with me and <clears throat> uh, it's Friday afternoon and the weekend is here and I'm super ready for a nice relaxation and to let go of my to let go of my my work for the weekend if I can because I'm creating at the moment I'm creating a, a ballet or a dance piece and I'm in Newport and I had my second day today and I've got quite a lot done a lot of dance material done and everything <clears throat> you know I just want to say that I'm very humbled by the fact that I'm always you know that I'm always learning and improving and this constant awareness of myself and and allowing myself just to evolve you know and be spontaneous and, and make creative decisions and not really know exactly where it's going you know with my creative process and like um, I'm owning that and I'm really humbled by the fact that I don't know and that I'm always learning and improving and I know for a fact that you know I'm soon 52 and I haven't I haven't I'll never stop doing that and you know it seems as though that curiosity uh, the curiosity of of I don't know of um, the magic of creativity just blows me away and you know sometimes I will arrive at a result and maybe you know you can think about this within your own work if you're a creative person or however you deal with people I guess you know it's creative whatever you're doing during the day and you feel um, you feel creative and I just I, I realize you know sometimes I I just really don't know what I'm talking about and I'm humbled by that and just realizing that and you know now I'm owning it more so and I used to like <laughs> I used to kind of like feel to myself or even to other people and if something miraculous would happen within my creativity or something then I would try to just make it look like that I had done that and you know and and um and that i to make me look big and you know when i'm working also too because of my i have a i don't know people know me in the dance world and i don't yeah it is what it is but you know it doesn't change me as a person and i've just been around in the business for a very long time and you know i don't know wherever people uh hold me here or wherever or here or whatever all of that stuff is just an illusion because it's just a projection of of that and I can see sometimes you know it's like when I feel insecure I'm watching myself if I call it insecurity um, um, it's really changing a lot because I've been so aware but but the vulnerability that I have um, is is it has also changing because I'm more more um, more friendly with that can you say that word more in tune with that vulnerability and it's changing because I don't feel as vulnerable anymore when I'm just like more being myself and and um, and just expressing myself that and just actually just being I don't know honest about like a creative process and and realizing that you know I always want to take risks and with risks comes vulnerability and you know I don't always know what I'm doing in the studio but I certainly know that something's going to be done and I wait for an idea or an idea appears to me at the at such a random moment and um, you know I can think of things and I can have ideas like I was meditating this morning and I had ideas as I was meditating I've been meditating by the way for for an hour each day so I did the last two days and um, <clears throat> And I've decided that I'm going to meditate and I'll, I'll take one day at a time because sometimes if I put myself in or if I expect things from myself and you know and that you know I have to have the discipline and I have to be you know committed to that and I've learned for myself to take one day at a time and with everything you know sometimes I um, but in my meditation ideas come up that's what I'm saying but in my meditation ideas come up with my creativity and there and I feel like I want to stop me meditating and write them down and and I learn to just let them go because I don't know I mean there are theories like you should write down your your when when it comes to you you know you should write it down and you should take this thought and I'm I'm more of like right now I'm just just showing up and and going with my ideas and and let the 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 music stimulate me or just 
the moment being just being present in the moment and listening to a something higher than myself something creative some kind of source that's speaking to me to um and speaking to me and telling me you know like um to do something and then i can be you know i have like a hundred eyes like eyes on my back and i'm sensitive to i'm highly sensitive person and um i don't want to get rid of that because i think that um in relationship to the sensitivity i've i've um let go of me supposed to supposed to be something other than i'm not and um and i allow the sensitivity and it happens and i feel vulnerable within myself and not necessarily you know that i project it out or that i just it's just a thought really it's just a thought that try maybe tries to take over and and tell me that you know this looks stupid or whatever but it really doesn't go that far nowadays it doesn't really tell me that i'm stupid or that i'm you know it's just like and also nor do i own my own ideas in the sense because sometimes i make miraculous choices and they're phenomenal and i realize you know that it came from some source and something higher than myself and um and and you know i just see it as an opportunity for me to continue to um to continue to go this way because i find it incredible incredible relationship to to the moment or to the source which however you call it would be god or um um a higher your higher being or the higher self or all that kind of thing so i'm just you know like being more spontaneous and you know maybe people I don't know what people would expect. I don't really care. <laughs> now I'm starting to say, you know, my ego starts. Maybe other people would think this and that. Oh gosh, when that arises, it's like I don't care. Because the opinions of other people do not do not matter. I always do my best, for sure. People are entitled to their opinions and maybe I agree. I don't know. Who knows? Because I just show up in the moment of my day, of every day, like my meditation, and I just let it flow and not get attached to any kind of thing and um you know um the ego appears when you're doing that because you cannot get rid of the ego the ego is so strong and when you try to to get rid of it now you don't have to feed it power and that again like i say all the time which has really been relieving to me is that positive or negative because um authentically you know we are the truth i think our our i mean the truth is right there right there and it's under layers and layers of of um of conditioning and conforming and all those kind of things that i speak about often and um but i am in a very very good place and with myself in the sense and i just allow and not be concerned about the result but i just if I just take care of the moment and the moment and be and be good with the moment and be good with my with myself and not judge it or label it and and let it come and and see what will happen and I love that most most than anything it's like better than you know like um creating something and everyone finds it incredible or whatever because sometimes yes sometimes no but I am here I often feel like a broken record because I say the same things but I guess anyway you see how that happens my mind just comes up with some kind of thing it's just a bunch of hot air that I'm blowing right now as I speak my truth but um yeah um I'm humbled I'm hum I mean I'm humbled by the fact that I you know don't don't know and I own that and um it's, it's the not knowing. I have no idea, to be honest. I have no idea how things come and go. and um, But I tap into that there. And I see where it goes. And, um, and um, how can you say? I see where it goes. Um, I see, I feel where I'm going, you know, more than thinking where I'm going. And that feels really good and genuine. And so whatever I'm creating is a genuine genuine response to the moment and to the now and I'm more concerned about that than the end result of anything so I'm here just saying that to you and um, wish you a beautiful weekend and um, 
enjoy yourself, lighten up. That's always the best thing for me to do, lighten up. I'm a pretty light guy. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and enjoy your weekend and much love to everybody. Yeah. Boop, boop. Bye-bye.